Hello all, welcome to another video from Autoport. So today we are going to learn how you can bulkly delete data from entities. Okay, so this will be the part 4 video of the data service uh, feature in UiPath. So we have already done 3 videos related to the data service. So if you haven't watched the, those videos, please go through that and try to understand what is data service, how you can enable manage entities in UiPath Studio and what are the different activities and we have covered majority of the activities in uh, the previous videos okay so let's start with our, uh, today's demo so uh, suppose uh, if uh, I have an entity like this okay so this is one sample entity which I created and uh, I have created three fields okay name country and job and these are the default uh, fields which got created while you create the entity okay and these are the uh, fields which uh, I created as part of this demo okay so that is name country and job and here <coughs> you can see the name of the particular person as well as the country and what is his job okay so all these details are there and uh, here you can see uh, two persons are from USA right and uh, Krishna is from India, Merlin is from UK, Deepa is from Singapore but Mark as well as Robin is from USA and they are having different jobs right so uh, just consider like if you have a entity which is having around 10,000 or some thousand uh, set of data okay and uh, you want to delete few uh, values from that like uh, here you can see two uh, uh, employees or two, the two persons are having uh, the country as uh, USA right suppose if you have some set of thousand and if you uh, around some hundred plus um, uh, persons uh, are having the country as USA okay so just consider consider if you want to delete all the entries which is having the country as USA uh, how you can do so one option is you have to get uh, each ID and you need to delete one by one using the delete activity right that is one uh, available uh, method but again you will have to call one by one and you need to check what is the status of uh, each country and based on that you need to delete an entry one by one right so instead of that uh, what you can do is you can create a collection and you can pass that collection of ids to the data service or to the data entity and you can delete all those ids all at a once okay so how is that possible okay that's what we we're going to check today okay so it can be achieved using this particular activity okay delete multiple entity records okay so uh, we are going to uh, cover this workflow in three steps the first one is get the data from entity based on the query okay suppose if this is entity we need to get uh, the list of rows right the list of rows based on the condition country right so that we will get it uh, in the first step then what is the next step we need to create a collection of ids to delete right out of these rows we need to fetch only the id and we need to create a collection for this particular ids all right then what is the third step call the delete multiple entity record activity okay so inside this delete multiple entity record we need to pass those collection of ids and we need to run the workflow then it will get delete from your uh, entity okay so that's what we are going to uh, check today so let's start by creating the workflow for that uh, let me create a new workflow add workflow bulk delete data service bulk delete records data service okay create it so the first step is get the data from entity uh, based on the query right so what i'm going to do is let me search for the data service package if this particular package is not available you need to install it okay you need to go to manage package and you need to search for data service dot activity and you need to install the package code entity records okay so what is the entity name it's a demo entity and what is the query mm. Okay, so the query that I'm going to give it like a country equal to USA. Okay, so that's it. Okay, and uh, what I'm going to do is just 
uh, refresh this orchestrator connection okay so what are the changes that i did to the uh, entity those things will get uh, reflect in the studio as well so i just refresh the connection go to manage entity uh, okay so there are new no new changes okay so just leave it then equal to usa and we need to get the output record right so let me name it like a um, okay out record okay so this part is done right so what is the next step we need to create a collection of ids to delete right for that what we need to do is we need to create a collection okay so add to collection we need to use and inside this collection what are the parameters that we need to give here you need to give the collection and you, here you need to give the item value right so uh, if you are getting uh, or if you are querying like this you are getting a i list of demo entity right so you have to loop through each uh, items and you need to fetch only the ids right for that we'll have to use a for each activity so i'm going to use a for each activity for each and how you need to search you need to search with the out record right you need to search with out record and uh, from this out record you need to fetch each value and you need to add to the collection right so add to collection and uh, what should be the type of this item argument should be of type system so uh, of type of demo entity okay it should be type of our um, entity name that is demo entity <coughs> okay so that's it and we need to add to collection right and what we need to add <coughs> so this collection as i mentioned we are going to create a new collection right we are going to create a new collection of id to delete so let me do one thing let me create a list let me create a new variable let me uh, put it like a id list okay so it should be of type mm, list of system dot gu id okay so we are going to fetch only the id so it should be of type list of a gu id and we need to initialize this uh, list that i'm going to use as an activity and id list equal to new list of of GUID. Okay, so that's it. So we have initialized that particular list, and we are going to add each value uh, of or each ID to this particular list, right? So add to collection. It should be ID list, and what is the value? We need to get the ID, right? So item dot ID. That's it and we have an error collection of object okay because here we need to change it to because this is a uh, list of guid right so id list is a list of guid so we need to change this type argument to system dot guid that's it so in this step we are going to create a uh, collection of ids and what's the last step we need to delete it right delete all the ids from the entity so let me search for delete delete multiple entity records so delete multiple entity records in bulk for the selected entity from data service okay so that is the purpose of that activity and uh, let me drag and drop this activity here let me choose the entity the entity and what is the record id that is id list right so in this particular uh, step we are creating the collection and that collection of ids that we are going to pass over here okay so it will delete all the records which is having a country as usa okay so i hope that is clear and, uh, 
equal to USA. That's the condition that we provide. So just try to execute run file. <coughs> Okay, so the execution is yet to start. Okay, so you can see it has started and the execution entered in uh, some 11 seconds. So just try to refresh this. And you can see all those data which uh, had a country as USA got deleted from this entity list right so this is how you can bulkily delete uh, the records from your entity okay so instead of going to entity and deleting one by one if you want to bulkily delete it you just need to call the data service only one time by passing the list of ids okay if you pass that list of id it will delete all the records uh, which is having that id uh, from the entity uh, by calling the data service only one time okay so i hope that is clear and where you need to use this uh, uh, delete sorry uh, where you need to use this uh, delete multiple entity record activity okay so if there is any confusion regarding this activity or any of this activity related with a data service please do comment in the video we'll try to figure it out and we can provide a, a solution for the same Okay, so if you find this video useful, please like the video, please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. So thanks for watching the video. Bye.